Welcome to Giants TV pregame show powered by Cyril Johnston. My name is Simon Kitchen. I'm joined this week by the operations manager of the Stan Line Belfast Giants, James Glover. And we're just going to talk about last week's game. Well, maybe not. And this week we'll talk about the, uh, the company players coming into Belfast. And we will be discussing James's role and the new bits and pieces that are happening on game night itself as well. James, welcome to the pre-game show for Giants TV. Thank you very much. It's a change of scenery for me now. What's your role on, on match night especially? Um, really just facilitating game night um, from you know, setting up during the day, making sure the raffles run correctly, um, making sure the, the guys that operate the screens and the audio and stuff are all in sync. Um, we've got a pretty talented bunch of people we work with, but my job is really just to sync everything together and sort of relay what the Giants' expectations are, and then the guys help deliver that. So. What, what, how long is your day on a Saturday, or on a match day? Um, typically, a match day, you'd be in here at 10 o'clock in the morning, and it's midnight before you're, you're leaving the building. Um, Short shift then? Yeah, it's not too bad. Well, after, a, after a Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, it's, it's not too bad. So. You've brought in a lot of new things this year, and you've talked about the people who are behind it, you know, and all the volunteers are, are, are doing a great job selling the likes of the 50-50 and the shirt off of the players back and what have you. Yep. The 50-50 draw this year has is, is changed a wee bit, so instead of the, the normal hand over the cash and getting your ticket, how's that working this year? It's something the guys picked up on um, when they were in the States. It's, uh, it's pretty much the norm out there, the way that the 50-50 raffle's conducted, but um, with the the recent additions of the screens and the infrastructure in the arena um, it really helped facilitate that so it just helps communicate the prize throughout the night um, makes it a little bit more enticing for people to get involved and as everyone can see like the the prizes have been rising week on week so it's obviously having an effect which is fantastic for the giants and obviously for the winner as well they're not going to complain when they're going home with maybe three times what they would have done this time last year. So. And, and all that money goes back into the team, is that right? It does, yes. Um, the, the, the Belfast Giants, as we know, is owned by uh, the Odyssey Trust, who are a charitable organisation. So all the money is invested back into the Odyssey Trust and then it's dispersed amongst the, the various aspects of um, the Odyssey Trust. So the, okay. the Giants certainly is a, a beneficiary of that. And so basically, across the site here as well. all the fans that come in, all they need to do is just go and grab one of the the 50-50 sellers and they can then issue them with a ticket, is that right? Yeah, you have the little uh, electronic uh, tablets, so you just go up, you've got a few different price bands, um, tell them what you want and they'll probably try and talk you into spending a little bit more than you wanted to, but um, like I said, every penny you spend, half of it goes back into the, the prize pot, so um, it benefits the organisation and it benefits the winner as well. That's great, it's absolutely superb. You were in Sheffield last week. Yeah. I don't really want to spend too much time talking about the Saturday because it was, I, I only watched it on TV so it didn't really get that much off it. Um, but Saturday's game itself, I know the whole team were disappointed the way they played. Going into Sunday, it was a better performance and, and Coach Walzer and a couple of other guys have commented on it as well. What was your thoughts on the game last week? I think the guys certainly came out on Sunday with a point to prove. Um, nobody had any real positives to take from, from Saturday. Uh, Sheffield's always a difficult place to go and especially when you're three guys short, um, it, it's never going to be an easy game. I think the guys were a little bit disappointed with uh, the result and like, it's one of those rare ones where you know it just comes up throughout the season regardless of how good your team is you're always going to have a few games where you're below par and sometimes you, you really get punished and, and Saturday was one of those games. Um, Sunday we came out with a point to prove. Uh, two broken plays led to two goals from, from the Steelers. Um, which ultimately lost us the game, but um, there was a lot more bite from the guys and a lot more um, sort of flow to the game. Uh, Saturday was very stop-start. There was a lot of penalties, and fortunately, or sorry, unfortunately, uh, we were on the receiving end of a lot of those, and as the result shows, it, it cost us in the end. Um, Coventry Blaze uh, yeah. came into the SSA Arena tonight. It could be a bit spicy. Um, there was a bit of an incident. Uh, that happened in Coventry two weeks ago, and uh, their big defenceman Boris Falabek is um, is a big target. Isn't he? Do you know what? They, we have a lot of toughness in our team, and uh, I don't think there was any of the guys were particularly happy about the, the timing and the incident in in Coventry. Um, certainly, there wasn't an awful lot of time left to do anything about it, and um, with the the suspensions and things that came as a result of that, I think there's a bit of a, a bitter taste, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we've seen some some fireworks tonight. I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure you are too. 
should be good. Make sure you're in your seats for the uh, the puck dropping because uh, I know Nickerson likes to, to go out and get it done early if he's, if he's going to have to do something. So. Well, um, talking about getting in your seats, there's none left tonight. It's pretty close to uh, to selling out. We don't like to say it's a sellout until they're officially gone, but uh, it's, uh, it's going to be busy in here tonight. Excellent. James, listen, I really appreciate your time. I know you're busy during the the day, or so you let us know anyway. Yeah. Um, so that's us for pre-game TV so far, uh, powered by Cyril Johnson, and enjoy the game.